Do you want something to eat? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, you could be missing out on a gastronomic delight, you know. We've got a special on today. Steak and kidney. Your mum made it. I did. Oh. Oh, why don't you have one anyway? Eh? Me and Wix are in charge for two weeks. So we've got to keep our sales quotas up, you know. That's no, all right. I'm planning a big meal for tonight, all right? Uh, Ian wants you. Oh, um... Hi, Sharon. What do you want? Um, well, I was wondering, are you, um, busy tonight? Not especially, no. Oh, great. So? Well, um, I thought, what were your mum and dad being away? Um, I thought, well, I could perhaps cook a meal for us both over at my mum and dad's and then we could go to a disco afterwards. OK. You'll come? I just said, didn't I? Oh, um, yeah, well, I'll pick up about seven then. Fair enough. See you later. Yeah, Tasha. I wanted to work with you too. Yeah, I know. I think mine's a bit more urgent. Um, me and Sharon are going on a date. Well, it's a turn up for the books, isn't sure, it? Sure, I tell you, you could have knocked me down with a feather when she said yes. I mean, she's always turned me down before now. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Do you know what? I never realised she fancied me too. Well, I just suppose you know. You're the best mate, aren't you? Must talk things over. Well, we have mentioned it a few times lately. So, uh, how do you think I should play it then? That's a good question. What do you reckon? Strong and silent, soft and romantic. I tell you, everyone's given me advice today, but you know best. You're a best mate, aren't you? Just don't play it too macho. It's not your style. How do you mean? But no offence, Ian, but Rambo, you're not. And play the gentleman. He'll pull him with her coat, make a fuss of her, treat her like a lady. We are talking about the same person, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. Yeah. And if you want to get anywhere with her, you'll follow my advice. Yeah, OK, sure. Yeah, Kelvin's giving me a list, list of chat-up lines. Do oh. have a look? No, thanks. I did go out with him before. I probably heard him myself. Oh, oh. oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> but just remember, she's a human being, too. Huh? I mean, most blokes can't wait two minutes before they start leaping all over you. I mean, she's got a mind. Talk to her, make conversation. Oh, so you don't want to add any more lines to this <laughs> no, list? I don't no, think I didn't so. think you did. <laughs> oh, Mum. Oh, miracles do happen. Doc actually turned up early for once. Hello, love. All right, I've done the spuds. Oh, thanks. Are you going to stay and have something to eat with us? Um, no, it's all right. I've got a big meal plan for tonight, thanks. Oh. It's going on a date with Sharon. Yeah, oh. um, I think I'd better be getting home, all right? Yeah, see you then. Oh, tell her, see Good luck. Then. Thanks, I think I'm going to need it. <laughs> Oh, fancy our Ian going on a date. Remember him in nappies and Sharon. Mm. Well, we're all growing up, aren't we? At least you won't have to worry about me going out on dates for a while. Not in my condition. Don't suppose anyone would want to take me. Mm. wonder if I should have a word with her. Who? Sharon. Why? Well, I promised Ange I'd keep an eye on her while she was away. I don't think you want to worry about her. Not with Ian, Mum. No, not with Ian. But, I mean, boys of that age, they've only got one thing on their minds. I just hope Sharon's got enough sense not to let anyone make a fool of her. I'm sorry, Sharon. I'm not blaming you. But what I mean is, boys of that age, they do only think of one thing, and well, before you know where you are, you're in too deep. But it weren't like that with me, Mum. He wasn't Ian's age, he was older, quite a bit older. And he didn't make a fool of me. I knew what I was doing. <laughs> 